Days ago, ladies and gentlemen, I quoted a New York Times article that praised Obamacare as the federal government's biggest attack on economic inequality since inequality began rising more than three decades ago, which was the Reagan era of American prosperity. In a related story, the New York Post reports that last year, fat bonuses were handed out at the New York Times. The chairman at Little Pinch, Schultzberger, and Times President Janet Robinson made out like bandits. Between them, they received over $10 million in bonuses, stock awards, and options. Now, that has liberal journalists in Boston ready to form their own Tea Party. While Little Pinch and Janet were lining their pockets, journalists at the Boston Globe, which is owned by the Times, were taking it in the shorts. So the Boston Newspaper Guild published a letter to the Times wealthy executives. It reads, During the year for which you were so richly rewarded, the 600 members of the Boston Newspaper Guild gave back almost the same amount in pay and benefit reductions, $10 million to be exact, after you threatened to close our newspaper, lay off hundreds of people, and strip Massachusetts of its largest newspaper. Now that the Times has shown it can afford to lavish so much On a few top executives, we expect our pay and benefit cuts will be restored in the coming months. Uh, Don't hold your breath up there in Boston. Wealth inequality doesn't matter so long as it's the top dog liberals who are getting wealthy. Hypocritical, sure, but they're liberals. What do you expect?